proficient enough from Britain as an ex uh, Scotland Yard to know how this works and he's got everything and he just asked for a letter to um, allow him to go ahead with investigating Cook Street and John Key and um, his part in the Panama Papers and the Paradise Papers and the $13 million taken from here for Hillary Clinton Foundation. I'm right up against them. There's nobody yet has challenged the titles that I hold of surrogate king. King William III, King William IV and King George IV. That period of time, 1823 to 1834, cut off. And that is still British. And I'm, I'm there to establish that title and to correct the imbalance of all the wealth that's off the rails. And it's going to take this to put it back on the rails with Britain and save it from itself because the Queen has thrown in the Muslims and it's a mess. And this flag, I believe, will save them, save the British and the Commonwealth from complete collapse and the Bitcoins and all the other things that are sneaking in now. I'm blocked with the pound note because we still have a license to use the pound note and the flag, um, commercial trade with any country and free passage through the world and also the Bank of England Act. I'm using those acts and a few other acts, the, um, the um, 1830 um, acts of King William, the 4th to 1837, I'm applying those acts directly. Because the um, uh, police, CIB, took me to court over Cook Street, I had some pretty dumb marriage that didn't know what they were doing, but they had a go at it to seize the property, and I put it into the police. I've notified the police every time, but the police stepped in and tampered with the information that I had that what is supposed to happen here is Lynn's supposed to put Monica's name on the title that's under the Section 145 um, uh, Land Act and failed to do that for me and Mohi Manika while he was alive. And um, so I used that because the title in the road going through the block on Cook, um, Cook, well, 61 Cook Street <coughs> was a Crown Road title. What happened was Jamie Peters got in trouble and I was in real estate then and he let me have all the documents to find the problem because he got in trouble 300 million of investors' money, lost their money. And I was there, and we've got rejected on the land transfer, or the caveat over the land, as an interest, not a financial interest, as an interest in the money car title. And there is the document with a clear sale of Rogan buying off Defne um, for money cow on the 11th of November, 1862. So that document I use as a receipt of the sale and purchase of the whole of Pukekohe, from Clevedon right across to Waiuku, and all that was a monitor of one block under the British titles. That, that, that was another set of rules, apart from being split up into blocks. He was the one, only one that sold it, and his ancestor. That was in his ancestor in 1823 in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. Master of, of uh, Cambridge was involved um, in the scheme of things with um, uh, universities and degrees to formulate titles uh, and that's all around these two Manukau's and I'm there as an executor for the Manukau Trust and uh, Moriori people that got written right out. I've put them back in place and the Molai statue that's standing in London, that's my own family, Wānoa, and the Rogan and Cosgroves in Northern Ireland uh, and the Patricks. St. Patrick's Community points out, those are my family. They're married into our family here. And the coat of arms that I'm wearing over there. I'm there in Scotland, the church, uh, St. Mary's Church in um, Edinburgh. <coughs> That's the first church here at Rangsukia, or Tikitiki, St. Mary's Church, 1831. That formed the birth certificate instrument for bonds on the stock market. King William IV was instrumental in the stock market in the 50 years he was in the Navy before he came, became king. So I've got all that history in my head and I, I want to get rid of it and turn it into commerce, trade. I've got the big projects in the tidal turbines ready to go in hydrogen jet fuel and rocket fuel. That's my trade, really. Uh, apart from that, I've picked up a lot of 
land issues, legal issues, that I, um, because of the failure of um, the barrister, uh, Shannon Withers, um, uh, I represent, represented myself in court when I came out of prison, and I said, Judge, you've got no seal of the Queen, you've got no seal of Westminster, and you've got no jurisdiction over what jurisdiction I have. I had the shirt with all the King William and the coat of arms and everything, and eight boys are here, and Natalie Flower Do Brown ripped it off in my house and blocked me and took the shirt away as evidence against me. Now I'm using the shirt as evidence against all of them as treason against me, uh, surrogate king, telling my whole story in the whole front of the world on 107 Facebook pages and about 1,500 YouTube videos now explaining how it works. So those are my site live evidence to stack up in any case. But it would be good for you to be involved with uh, Graham Allen, um, uh, with the law side, uh, to keep that in, in, in perspective from what I know. I can stand on my own on my horizon and, and put it across quite easily uh, at any stage, but law is lawyer jobs and um, I, I can do so much. Um, but I just wanted to um, tell you that much of me and myself. Um, I'm on 31 land blocks at home. I can't even get one on one because I'm a, trust, I'm, I'm a trustee on one of them, but I'm not a farmer. That's the requirements of Timberton with Pied or Trust. I can't get on with all my plans. They were a bit too much for them. They said, no, you're not a farmer. So I've never bothered to go on the land because the trustees got control of it and they're not the real owner. I am, you see, with all this information. So now we're having a court hearing. I've had court hearings all the way through the years with Moi Manico and a few others, and I still do now, even the Waitangi Marae. They couldn't stop me going in there. Were those my carvings in there for my ancestors. And even Kingi Kauru, the chief there, said, John, this is your marae. I said, no, this is your land, Kingi. If you want it back, you'll have to capture that ship of Admiral there in the back. Because it's got a flag on it, the British flag, and the other one that John Key tried to get rid of and put a fair flag on it. We are flags on it. It should be up the top, not up there. But there's a process of doing those sort of things. So, so I wanted to make sure that everybody knew what the flag was first and what I'm going to do with it. After all these years, 193 years since 1820, when Hongi Hika and um, uh, Te Rewaikato Wharehere here in Manuka went to England uh, to learn English um, and Hongi Hika went to the Muscat and um, Te Rewaikato went into the university for learning land transactions and all that and then went and signed up the whole country in Edinburgh uh, because it was going to get taken anyway. So that was the best insurance was for him to sign a contract with the Moriori and that's, that's the part that the Crown Corporation of the uh, New South Wales took the Manukau title, took Te Waikato's name, split it into Te Waikato as a woman, and then put the whakapapa of Ngāti Tātua under that. And that's what I've got off them now. The whakapapa for all the treaty claims is not right. It's not right. And the record for Manukau, they locked them up, right, and used his name to transfer the title from his Manukau Marae at Waiuku. That Marae, Manukau Marae, they changed it to Tāna Marae, they see people in Copra, and, and up that, that Marae, and uh, all that lot, I've been battling up against all these years. And so it's been about 20 years I've been collating everything, the history for Mohi Manukau and mine at the same time, because the Rogans married the Manukaus and the Rogans married the Wainors at the East Cape, the native land court in Gisborne, all those land titles, I've got a lot of the originals from yes. from So them. what do you want to do as a person? I want you to, um, 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 I want you to look at these because they're the ones I want as a package to, this is cost, what is that cost to put them in um, as, um, um, I don't want, those are the originals and all I want to do is to um, get a notary um, um, certificate to take them down to Wellington and to, to get them apostolized so that we can put the history right on titles and um, um, it's got to go to Britain after that or they'll do it from there. So I've gone over all the applications and what to do um, and um, um, just bring it around here and come a bit closer to you. 
put me but I've got to go in the box. These are, that's our main one with um, the present King of Britain, UK, Hanover. That's um, um, Ernest Augustus V in the line of Dutch under the kings, these kings I'm talking about. And um, um, Prince William is a, is, a, is a Spaniard, not a Dutch, to, take, to succeed to these titles. And I'm a contractor, and he has, doesn't have a contract in, in, in with this rag and the king. And that's, that's me there. So I've, I've collated all the, all the history and everything in here. There's one book and a title of news and everything. It's too much to, to, to go over because I've been over this with other lawyers. And um, um, that's, that's the history of the East Coast. And all these things are refined down to these two chiefs and Mohi Manukau, the Freemason, 50 years, and his title that I've got inside this and Waitangi and Whakapapa here with Wano Rogan and Manukau here. That's right through the years, the Moriori title, hooking him with me. And um, it's, this is all online, okay? A lot of people, people reading it, and the videos, I'm explaining everything, who I am and why, why I'm standing for the king, and no one's objecting to it. I have no people objecting to what I'm saying and claiming to be a surrogate for those kings and the four main tribes here. I, I, I can decipher all, all, all the history of that and the Moai statue on East Island, all of that history I can decipher, and the pyramids, because the same DNA, the same fingers as me on, 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 on East Island and um, 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 Africa. It's the same DNA as me. So that's, that's our ma native magistrate court in Auckland with these four main chiefs and 90-year-old Lewini Kraka, okay, and this guy here, um, Bandi Waitai, and Manahi Parapara Mohini, that's an old, old name. So these, he's a Ratana minister, so I've followed the Ratanas all the way through. And um, um, so they're very well aware of Napui, um, who John Wan is. So there's the Rogan, um, here, Rogan and, and Ref Ref Manigal, um, the um, Salem Purchase Agreement of Pukekohe and all its um, titles. Okay, so that's that's a one man effort, and that part, I've, I've, all I'm doing, I've, I'm not, I'm not, uh, um, I'm not doing anything to push anything further because I've gone as far as I can, and all I want to do is to have these that I'm the author of all of this, and I'm the real man standing here attesting to all of these that I've bound up and put together myself, and I'm using the, the uh, Freemasons documents. They own all the documents that I write on, and no problem from there. I went to see them in LSD, the main office. So these are, um, um, those are the power notes we're using with the two chiefs on it, okay? I'm just about to, to um, use that currency to keep the power note going against the um, 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 debtors, for one thing, but uh, against the trade we are doing. I'm going to use that as an instrument because we have the right to use it. And there's no, no, no negative coming from Britain about what I do with it. Okay, so I put values on, on the power note on, over the birth certificate and um, um, Patrick, she's a Patrick here, so um, the Patrick name of the eight-point star on the flag, this eight-point star on my hat there, is what I'm using, and John Key's wearing the eight-point star, so one of us is not two, you see? So I'm saying John Key took off from here, sold up and went, and he's taken something out of here. See, that's the seal of King William IV on his horse and his ship in the background, that's the seal we're using in his crown. That's what I'm going on, that seal, the two chief seal, and the flag, and the Admiralty ship on Waitangi, and King William IV, and Thomas um, Kendall, the bishop that took them to England. Okay, so I'm using that seal, the Moai seal that's standing in London, mm -hmm. as the seal on these documents on the native side. So that's been, all these been signed by chiefs. Well, everything in here has been signed on Marae, and in particular the TT Marae and Waitangi Marae, and Marais in Auckland, and this is Baker. I just had a recent. Uh, these are all, all, all uh, dating back from 2000. 
all the way through. And this is Morris Baker of the Baker family in Taheke. This is Taheke Marae, where those people, and Moira Hoffman Ch um, Russell, have got her book um, of all of Hakapapa that will um, put this right. It puts, she's, she's supporting me. She lives in Rotorua. And so that's his deed titles here. He's got 10 land blocks back and don't know what to do with them. So I'm helping him to get them going with his mineral water that he says is, um, is um, something extraordinary and his bees and all of that sort of thing. So I'm not doing it for nothing. I'm, I'm going to make something work at my age, 68. So this is, this is um, I'm, I'm going under this in the Constitution, 1852 Constitution. I'm going back to where we should be and, and the laws acts of uh, King William IV. We are allowed to go straight into there and apply it from a marae. When everything else matters, uh, uh, fails, the court system has failed me over the years and the last court hearing on Cook Street. The judge dismissed the case rather than have, they didn't take me into court, they just squashed the whole lot. And I'm being injured and there's nothing happened. They'll have to pay for locking me up with all of this against them. You see, there's enough in here to sink a battleship. So everything in here of titles, everything, I'm title contract man. I'm, I'm in the contract field and in, especially in the um, monarch and the commercial <coughs> trade of what's happening in America especially and um, in Britain. They're watching me in Britain. Somebody's watching me because no one's allowed to call themselves a crown or a bank and that's what I'm calling myself. So there's the rejig title on Cook Street here, all of this, um, um, that failed to put the Manukau's name on the title. That's all. They did not put on because they were hiding all this other stuff with the two Manukau's on their whakapapa. The whakapapa of Ngāti Whātua is not a, a real tribe. It belongs to Australia and New South Wales and the New Zealand Crown Corporation private company. Nothing to do with us people. So that's what I'm stacked against them. They've got to come to the court hearing. See this, this is, the, I've put a trillion on the, on the birth certificate, on my name came back. A packet came back with my shirt in it from the police station. 